the Low Bricks. This is our weekly Wednesday Lego Star Wars Hoth Mock video series. And today, we got to do some transition work to get ready for, you heard it here first, kids, the Echo Base Mountain, the covering of Echo Base. So today, Assistant is going to be working on those transitions, doing a little more work on the probe droid area, and it's going to be cool. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So today, we are going to be focusing on this area over here and basically what i want to do is finish this out because we are going to be starting building our mountains soon here so we're going to need this section to be finished all the way up into here so we can do that so basically we're going to be taking this and adapting it so it can go this way and then kind of filling in this area a little bit right here with some more train pieces like that so we can start working on our mountain in the future. Uh, I'm gonna start by filling in a general uh, layout here with like slopes and slants. Then I'm gonna go through and add some more greeble with like these one by ones and some other tiling up top here. And once I'm done doing that, we can start working on some groundwork and then it will be done with. So anyway guys, let's get started. All right, so first up, I went ahead and I started to lay out a little bit of a base as to where we're going to round this corner here. And uh, I did that as I just laid down some tiles here. And now we got to fill this in so we can start working on our slopes. All right, so there we go. I went ahead and filled this in. And now what I'm going to do is just go along here and to start to develop a little bit of a slope going down into here. So, you know, we can have a nice transition from this side over into this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in speed hyperlapse mode. So it will look super fast and cool for you guys. So let's do that. All right, so there we go. I went ahead and sloped up everything over here, so now we have a good transition there. But we still need to add in some of these details. Like you can see, there's a line I want us to wrap around and expand out through here. So I'm gonna do that. And what I mean by a line is there's these, uh, this kind of top section here that runs along there, as you can see and I want that to extend down through here. Eventually we're gonna put one by ones and studs along through here, so it will look nice and decent through there, but we're gonna do that in an episode when we actually make the line for this, because as you can see, the line on this side is made of nice, pretty slope bricks, and this is really rough. So we're gonna go through and line that all the way up around through here, and then stud up that. But for now, we have to add in the more rough details on top here. So let's do that. All right, so how I'm gonna do this is I just take some one by four uh, tiles and I just start sticking them on top here and creating where I want my snow pattern to be. And why I do this is just to get some rougher details because like I said, I kind of want these to be more of a snow mound, like it was pushed up by bulldozers. Less over here, I want this to be more of like a naturally kind of forming mound and they used the bulldozers to push more of this stuff up. So it's gonna be a little less um, jagged than what we see on top over here. So I still want it to be relatively smooth and flat. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go through and place down some tiles here to get some shaping like so. So there we go, there's our shape. And then we have a little bit of empty space right here. So I wanna create a little bit of a offshoot snow mound right here, which will just be a little fella. We'll connect in just a bit through there. All right, so now that we've laid out our foundation of things, if you will, of what I'm going to be doing, with the detail up through here. Now I can go through 
and build it. I'll do that via speed time warp so it goes lickety split. So I'm just gonna kind of mm, come back when this is, you know, all done. And I actually learned a trick online. This is like an epic YouTuber trick. You guys are, you guys are not even gonna leave this. So if I snap my fingers, it should just magically appear done. And then boom, did it work? Hey, hey, that was pretty, how'd I, how'd I do it? I don't know, I don't make the rules. But anyway, now it is done. And there is a spot in here that is bothering me a little bit now that our uh, mounds are here. And it is just our groundwork of our mounds. We still have to add in our details. But right in here, as you can see, this comes in and doesn't really flesh in well. And this is something that can happen when you go through and build mocks is things don't connect well together with each other. So you're just gonna have to kind of add in a little bit of extra bits and pieces here to make it work. And you know, that's just not a problem. That's just kind of how sometimes these things go. Unify your mock a little bit. So there we go. Now that we've added in a little bit of detail and pieces in there, I think this area feels a little bit more connected, at least as a uh, coming in through top there and then down into these two mounds. We've got this one mound here, which is one side of it and this tiny little mound. We laid the groundwork down for that just a second ago. But now that that's done, I wanted to have one more of these little ice uh, hills here, right along in through here, because I want this area to feel more like an ice cavern, like it is in the scene in the movie. Because as you know, our Han is just over here, blasting our droid, or at least looking at it. And then we've got Chewbacca. So I want to add in another ice hill right about there. So I'm going to go grab some pieces so we can lay the groundwork for that. All right, so there we have it. My mound is done. It's right there and I think it just needs that little bit more to finish this scene off. Uh, later we are going to go through and add in a nice line through here and then sprinkle some studs over top everything so it looks a little bit more snowy. But now that our main construction over this large area here is done, we can finally start construction on the mountain that's going to enclose Echo Base. So that is super exciting. But now that we've got the building portion of this video done, we can go ahead and place down our minifigure. All right, so today we are going to be putting down two figures. I do want a more quantity of these Rebel Troopers running. So our first guy is going to be a Rebel Trooper running, which is just one of the figures from the battle pack. As you can see right here, I think those are back in stock, Assistant. They are back in stock at LEGO stores, so you can check those out. I'm actually going to put this guy kind of at the front of the pack, right next to his uh, doppelganger there. So that's a little, you know, he's right next to himself. In fact, he's running with quite a lot of versions of himself there. But, you know, it is what it is. Heads and those faceless guys. And we are going to be adding a second... Uh, figure here, which is going to be this astromech droid, silver one, an older guy. And I'm sure you guys uh, in the in the chat can tell us which Jedi's astromech this is, if anyone's. Because yeah. Everyone's like, oh, that's Plo Koon's or uh, hey. Dip Dip Dil Farty or something. But yeah, or or if it's an evil astromech, we don't know. We yeah. need we need droids in here though, so we're gonna plop him down. So let's see, where should he just be? Where's a place that's a little empty? Of here we go. How about, I oh, I like them. What about right there? I like it. Yeah, there he is. So don't worry, guys. We do have proper Hoth astromech droids like this fella. We're just we gonna to put them down. A really special episode. Yeah, we're gonna put them down in later episodes. So they are coming. So that is our minifigure edition is that fella right there and another Hoth trooper running in our group. That group is getting quite large. There's seven of them now. So yeah, that's gonna do it for our minifigs. 
And with that, the video is unfortunately coming to an end. I hope you guys did enjoy what we did over here today. And I hope you guys are super excited for what we're going to do in the future with the mountain. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming. So it is going to be great. But that is going to conclude the building portion of this video. We are inching ever closer to building the mountains, the shield generator, the ion cannon, everything you guys have been clamoring for. All tens of you have been asking for this. So we are going to do it very soon. How soon? You're going to have to come back next week to find out. So anyways, join us here each Wednesday for our mock video. Join us every Friday for our fun video, and on Monday we do unboxings. And if any of you, one of you, becomes a member of Low Bricks, you're going to get to see more Tatooine videos. And we got more in store for Tatooine, so think about joining up. It's it's less than, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever it is these days. Cup of coffee, whatever the kids are doing. So anyways, I am Leaky Trooper. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our Discord. Check out our Instagram. All that good stuff. We will see you guys in the next one. I am out of here. Bye.